Nobody wants this. Wait, gone, yes. Today I wanna to talk about how you're gonna be able to lose your love handles. What are they, what you should do, what supplements you should take, and what natural supplements that you can take, because there are some that some people call not natural that I'm gonna talk about. Now first we're gonna start off with what are love handles? Well, basically excessive calories get stored beyond what your muscles use as body fat. Now unfortunately, we're all built differently. If you, know, you have a friend that never holds any fat or you have that friend that holds fat in all the right areas, unfortunately, we don't have those genetic gifts. And so for us, just like me, I store the fat into the love handles. So what is it? It's fat deposits that are sitting over top of your core region and the fat cells are like sponges waiting for water. So the sponge is dry, it's small when there's not much excessive calories, but then once the calories are beyond what your body uses, they get stored into those sponges, the sponges expand, and that's how you get those dreaded love handles. You'll notice that when you're in really good shape, the love handles shrink. And that's why I recommend for you to take photos. The reason why I like to take photos is because you can see the sides and you can see how they sit over top of your pants or your jeans. And that's one of the best ways that you can monitor your love handles. But if you're like me, you know whether it's one pinch, half a pinch, or a whole handful, whether you need to start cleaning it up. So what are love handles? It's just fat deposits that are sitting over top of your muscles in specific areas. Now what should you do? You should be monitoring your food full time. A lot of people try to eyeball their food and they often under eyeball, right? And for me, I eyeball my food, but I always use the bigger number. So if I were to have a scoop of peanut butter, like I look at the size of the tablespoon and I've weighed enough peanut butter in my lifetime to know roughly how much 15 grams is. Now, a lot of people will say, well, I get one tablespoon, they'll scoop the whole thing and the thing is mounted like this. And then they're like, well, it's just one tablespoon. And meanwhile, that's like 1500 calories. And yes, calories can add up like that. And a lot of people you'd be surprised don't burn as much calories as they think they do. A lot of people the other day, I was having a conversation with a woman and she was so worried that her friend was under eating. Her friend is only like 130 pounds. She has a desk job and she does work out like once five days a week, but really she doesn't have a ton of muscle that she's carrying. She doesn't have an active job. She doesn't get a lot of steps. And so she's not burning a lot of calories where her goal is to lose fat and weight. And so for her, she's probably only burning 13 to 1500 calories a day. And guess what? Eating 1200 calories is 300 caloric deficit, which means that she's going to be at about a half a pound weight loss per week. And if you go back to one of my older videos, I talked that a half a pound is a great goal to achieve every single week because that's two pounds a year and two pounds a year times 52 weeks or two pounds a month times 12 months, that's going to get you that 20 to 30 pounds of weight loss that you're looking for. So we need to be monitoring our food more closely. You, if you're serious about your weight loss and your fat loss goals, then you should be weighing every single piece of food that you have. Try not to eyeball it. And if you have no other opportunity, let's say that you're at a meeting at work and you have like, they bring out a bunch of food or whatever, I would just tell you not to eat it. Because if your goal is bigger than that temporary, whatever's out and laid in front of you, even if it is healthy, if you can't weigh it, don't eat it. Okay, that would be my number one recommendation for you. The second thing is the thing I always talk about is that you need to hire a coach. I mean, Tom Brady is the best quarterback in the world and he played for what, like 20 something years? Out of all those 20 something years and all those Super Bowls that he won, he always had a coach. So why wouldn't you have a coach to hold you accountable and to hold you accountable to keeping yourself in a caloric deficit and helping you talk through these upcoming obstacles such as a work event, Christmas, a kid's party, or whatever it is. Because they're the ones that are gonna make sure that you guys are working on this together because food is all around us and it's super difficult. So if you're serious about losing those love handles, you need to monitor your food, you need to track your food, and you need to hire a coach to make sure that they're holding you accountable. Now when it comes to supplements, 
The one supplement that I've read about that's readily available on the market is ephedrine. Okay, now a lot of gurus will say, well, why are people talking about ephedrine? It's not good for you and this and that. But what I've done is linked a great article written a couple of years back. And in this article, he's got like 20 different peer reviewed journal articles. That means that there's doctors and scientists that have done the studies on these on ephedrine and the effectiveness of it. Now I'm not promoting ephedrine to you. I'm just making you aware that it is one of the only fat burners on the market but not classified as a fat burner that is shown to isolate fat as fuel. Now, could it have blood pressure and heart rate issues? 100%. So if you're at a major risk, then this is something that you'd probably want to work with your, your doctor. But I don't know any doctors that are going to say, take ephedrine. But if you want to go and read about that article, I put that article in there and it's going to show you that ephedrine alone can isolate fat as fuel and it's going to increase the amount of calories that you're burning even at rest. Now, I'm not saying to take it. I'm not telling you any dosages of it, but go and read the article and you can make that decision yourself. Now, when it comes to something that I can promote and is 100% natural, leaner. Leaner right here. Put the bottle here, Jerome. So leaner is available only at Fit Club in Winnipeg. Some people have gotten hold of it. Not sure how, but it should be only available at Fit Club in Winnipeg. But Leaner has EGCG. So EGCG is basically the potent part of green tea and green tea itself has had some metabolic fat burning properties. Now it's not as good as Effie's, but it does help to isolate fat as fuel. There's also a supplement in there called synephrine. So synephrine is from orange peels and it has similar fat burning properties as ephedrine, but it's a non-stimulant. Now, inside of Leaner, it's got a great blend of other supplements that have known to increase your metabolic resting rate, meaning how many calories you're burning at rest, increase your metabolism, and also decrease hunger. So for me, Leaner is one of the best and most recommended supplements that I would tell to you. And you can take as little as three a day, either at once or three spread out if you're just getting going. I've given three twice a day, so six total, or you can even go up to nine if you're in a heavy cut. Now, just like any other supplement, you don't wanna become dependent on these. So if you're taking like 18 a day, that's probably way too much. And what we really need to focus on is having a well-balanced approach. So what is that? That's working out consistently and challenging yourself to push yourself to either move faster, keep the heart rate higher, or lift heavier weights when you're at the gym. You need to focus on your nutrition. So not just like free ball eating and just eating right out of the bag. Weigh everything. Get yourself an accountability coach. And then number three is taking the right amount of supplements that are helping you and... What's the word? What's the what's word? Like complimenting. Ready? And number three is taking the right supplements and the right amount of supplements that are complementing your workouts and your nutrition. Now, if you're in the Winnipeg area and you want to pick up leaner, come down to Fit Club, 1795 Henderson. If you're looking for advanced coaching in nutrition or workouts virtually or in person, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, hit the get started button, send us a message, say five days, and we'll send you all the details.